welcome again everyone on my channel today we are going to talk about three phase separators uh, these are very important equipment which are used at the oil crude oil wells to separate oil water and gas streams so first let's have some background of uh, this equipment uh, crude oil is actually a very complex mixture of a heavy hydrocarbons light hydrocarbon water and dissolve and undissolved sediments or particles actually we can also say that it's a water oil emulsion that we receive from the oil well so it is very important to separate crude oil uh, into three different streams that one is the water uh, gas and uh, the third one is the oil and it is also important to remove water from crude oil because it is useless to transfer uh, water volumes from uh, oil well to the refineries because uh, it's just uh, adding a lot of transportation cost so uh, in three phase separator the separation occurs due to the difference in pressure and gravity so if I just want to uh, briefly explain how uh, three phase separator works on this right hand side is a schematic of a horizontal three phase separator uh, feed stream that is a crude oil which is consisted of oil gas and water enters at a high pressure into this vessel and uh, it hits into a inlet baffle or uh, it, it's uh, the baffle is a very different kind for example cyclone type baffles so due to the sudden change in momentum light hydrocarbon separated uh, uh, from the uh, from the stream and come into the gaseous phase and the rest of the liquid goes down here so the first part of the separator is actually a gravity uh, uh, section where oil and water are separated due to difference in their densities water is denser than the hydrocarbon so it goes down faster compared to the oil so at the interface of water and oil sometimes there is a very thin layer of water oil emulsion and uh, this separation is uh, level dependent and time dependent so these two factors are considered when we are designing uh, three phase separator so this uh, in the almost in the middle of uh, the vessel there is a, a wear or baffle from there uh, oil is overflowing through it and uh, enters here so from this uh, valve we have water from this one we have oil and uh, from top we have gas and this mist extractor is uh, a kind of a mesh that uh, separates liquid uh, droplets which are entrained into the gaseous stream to separate it from a gas so this is a very brief uh, uh, explanation of a horizontal three phase separator now let's move to the problem statement that we are going to solve today in high seas so uh, crude oil at a pressure of 12 bar and temperature 25 degrees c uh, is entering into a horizontal three phase separator sometimes it is also called as decanter the flow rate of crude oil is 2500 kg mole per hour so the task is to separate this crude oil into three different stream gas stream oil stream and water uh, stream and we have to find out what would be the flow rate of each stream and water composition in oil phase and water composition in water phase so this is a very general uh, uh, scheme of the problem now uh, what would be the crude oil composition uh, I am using just uh, a hypothetical uh, crude oil composition but you can use your own petroleum assay um, which crude oil you are using you will have uh, the this information so for practice purposes just pause the wind, uh, video here and note down uh, uh, the composition so we can uh, proceed further into high seas to solve this problem okay 
well now we are in high software the first step is to specify the components which are involved in the problem so let's do it just press this button and from this uh, uh, window just select from methane up to the carbon number 12 so i just uh, selected all of the component and thus thus uh, press this add button so uh, all the selected components comes in this window and uh, only we have to select now carbon 11 and carbon 12 uh, apart from that there are three other components one is uh, nitrogen and two and uh, then carbon dioxide and finally uh, water so all the components which are involved in the problem statement are being selected the next step is go to the fluid package and select uh, pink robinson as a property package okay so uh, property environment in high seas has been uh, specified next step is go to the simulation and from here just uh, select this three phase separator and drop it here into the uh, simulation environment double click on it and specify the streams so the inlet stream is crude oil and uh, the vapor stream we can say gas and light liquid is uh, oil stream and uh, heavy liquid is water stream uh, water okay so water just press enter okay next step is go to this uh, crude oil stream that is the feed stream and uh, put all the specification we know the temperature of the stream was 25 degrees C and uh, pressure was 12 bar so just select bar and flow rate was 25 100 kg mol per hour okay now go to the composition and uh, as i mentioned earlier in powerpoint slide uh, you already i hope noted the composition now it's time to put the composition and uh, i'm going to increase the speed of video at this point to minimize the time okay Okay, after uh, putting all the compositions uh, which are given in the mole fraction terms just press this button OK okay and uh, close this one okay uh, I think maybe you remember or not uh, at inlet uh, pressure difference the pressure drop at inlet is 1 bar and uh, vapor outlet pressure drop is a 9 so just put the specification for that uh, double click on the separator go to the parameters and here delta p inlet uh, pressure that is one bar and uh, vapor outlet pressure is nine bar okay and then press okay so let's uh, analyze what we have here in each stream so i'm going to put the tables for each stream for comparison
ओके सो आई जस्ट पुट द मटीरियल स्ट्रीम टेबल एंड द कम्पोजिशन स्ट्रीम टेबल फॉर ईच स्ट्रीम सो द इट वॉज आस्क दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द फ्लो रेट फॉर ईच स्ट्रीम फॉर गैस स्ट्रीम ऑयल स्ट्रीम एंड वाटर स्ट्रीम सो फ्राम दिस मटीरियल स्ट्रीम्स यू कैन हैव द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सो द टोटल क्रूड ऑयल फ्लो रेट वॉज ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड के जी मॉल पर आवर आफ्टर सेपरेशन टू हंड्रेड एंड एटीन पॉइंट टू के जी मॉल पर आवर इज द गैस स्ट्रीम फ्लो रेट एंड वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड एंड एटीन के जी मॉल पर आवर इज द ऑयल स्ट्रीम एंड द रेस्ट वन दैट इज सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट एट के जी मॉल पर आवर इज द वाटर सो दिस इज वन क्वेश्चन सॉरी दिस इज द वन आंसर फ्राम वन फ्राम द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन and the second question was we have to find out the water composition in oil uh, phase so for that just go to this oil stream and check the water composition in oil so it's almost negligible it's 0.0005 mole fraction and uh, on the other hand in the water stream it's almost 1 okay so from these two tables we can see that uh, these kind of separators are very effective for uh, water removal from crude oil uh, streams for further processing so this is a very basic tutorial for three phase separator design but if you want to go to the further uh, or um, detailed simulation just double click on this and from here go to the rating tab and if you have a data for your installed uh, three phase separator you just have to put its diameter and uh, a length of a separator and then nozzle uh, information heat loss information level tap information and finally carry over uh, if there is some carry over with the oil phase or with gas phase you can also give the information regarding that so it depends on what you provide to high seas to solve a particular problem much as much data you will provide uh, more accurately you will solve your problem okay so i hope you understand uh, this uh, tutorial and uh, i hope you like it so stay tuned for upcoming video see you next time bye bye